Welcome to Cooking Simulator. As you've already noticed, the restaurant you're now employed in does not have the greatest rating. I own this restaurant. Oh my god, we're not gonna be making anything with this piece of crap. <laughs> hey guys, Beachy Mike here. Today we're gonna be playing the cooking simulator. All I wanna do is cook a bowl of cereal. Let's see how that goes. My god, it's no wonder why Chef Ramsay would have a fit. This microwave is raw. I can't make a bowl of cereal in these conditions at all. Why is the frame rate like dookie? Is this too graphic intensive on my computer? Are you are you serious? You know how much Yandere simulator I play on this thing? This dartboard is raw. Oh, pick up the phone. Oh, God. You know, I've worked in fast food. Let me tell you, okay? Phones are the devil. They really, really are. Going off the freaking hook every five seconds while you're trying to do a million things at once. Screw that. If I ever start a restaurant, BG restaurant, I will never have a phone in it. But I'm gonna answer, I guess. What a mess. We need to get that gas cooker running ASAP. I think it's gonna blow up. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea. I did say I want to get rid of this phone, right? Where's the oil? Okay, all right, we don't have oil. Maybe it's not, it's not in the budget. <laughs> Sorry, you're not getting any fries today, anyone. No, we can't afford them. Don't try to call us. Anybody know where you're supposed to bake the phone at? Oh, my door fell off. All right, well, we're gonna have to duct tape that back on. Okay, duct tape works wonders. We'll just, we'll cook the door too. <laughs> Playing games at work is fine. Can we actually play games? Oh, this is just like our stat trackers and stuff like that. Okay, okay, I can get down with that. You can even wash dishes. It's horrible. I'm done. No. Oh my god, we got switches too? Alright, this is way too complicating. I love it. Okay, call someone to repair the crap. Oh my god, I gotta get- Okay. Oh, it's done! My phone's done cooking in the oven. Thank, thank heavens. You can't turn back time, or can you? Okay? <laughs> Where's the phone? I'm fixing to build a freaking phone microwave from Steins Gate right now. Tell me I can't turn back time. Tell me I can't turn back time. You know which anime I've watched? Okay, the, the phone is literally gone now. Who took my phone? Oh my god! It's a horror game! This must be the choice of Steins Gate. Alright, we need to get this thing repaired. Try not to go bankrupt. Almost everything in the kitchen costs money. Plates, products, and especially repairs. Oh god, I already had to pay for a new phone, didn't I? Well, we obviously gotta repair this junk. Or else I can't make my bowl of cereal. Can I call the repairman to fix my marriage? There's a repairman for that. Alright, let's see what kind of ingredients. We got plates. Anybody want some plate stew? <laughs> oh my god, it's propane. I love me some Oh my god. Dang old man, I tell you what, that propane. You're not supposed to throw pro propane, right? There ain't anything in this world more beautiful than lady propane. Oh, there was two of them? <laughs> we gotta test the, we- Oh my god! Alright, well we got- we got it? Am I doing it right? All right, put the phone away. All right, we don't need that boom. Oh, I boom. We can break your windows. All right, no time to take a breather. This place is about to be what? Full? Uh, first, you'll need some utensils. Find the cardboard boxes. Hover over one. Okay, all right. The cardboard boxes. Got it. All right. Oh, here, here they are right now. Do I, I have to buy things? Do I need a blender? I guess we do. Oh, this kind of... Okay, this kind of blender. All right. Oh, we can turn it on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, okay, you guys think ovens are good for, like, baking things, but it's also good for storage. And the reason why I'm leaving my blender turned on is because, obviously, I don't want to forget that it's in there. So, therefore, I have that constant noise always reminding me that, hey, my blender's in the oven, conveniently. They didn't take the door? Oh! oh <laughs> I didn't think it would do that! <laughs> This game's too realistic. <laughs> All right, we need to put the a box on the countertop. Got it. Use the shop to buy equipment from the list. Where's the list? Oh, we gotta buy all this stuff? I, I just want cereal. Organization is very important, okay? We're gonna make sure to be organized. Spatula for those Krabby Patties. Yes, of course. Am I in debt? Oh, okay. Well... All right. Can I buy multiple things? That would be a lot easier, but I guess not. All right. There's no option to set it down. It's just throw. <laughs> I just throw things. Laptops are really icky, so I use my knife. Oh my god. Can you actually stab yourself? Can you really stab yourself? Oh my god. <laughs> Kids, do not do what I do in this game, okay? Holding the knife from the blade is not a smart thing to do. Oh, so we gotta buy recipes? All right. I guess I'll buy some cereal. You guys got some Captain Crunch? I guess we'll take trout. What kind of restaurant am I running? I should be able to make my own 
own restaurant whenever I want. It'll be this cereal restaurant. It doesn't exist. I'll just pretend like I make gourmet cereal. All I do is go to the store and buy it. But you won't know the difference. I'll charge $20 a bowl. I'll call it fine dining. All right. Well, what is that I hear? Convenience. That's what I hear. Enter the shop view. All right. So spices, salt, spice. Can we buy sugar and spice and everything nice? <laughs> Today on Cooking Simulator, we make the Powerpuff Girls. All right. Now we'll just, I gotta find Chemical X. Where, where's Chemical X? Okay. All right. It's good to know where the fire extinguisher is. Did another one just pop in its place? Okay. We'll leave that there. I guess we have two magical fire extinguishers. Look, I'm like one of those people that has a very like odd storage mechanism where you just don't like, it looks like it's not working organized, but it really is to me. No, but don't you worry. I know exactly where everything is at, okay? Okay, I did my part. Let's see how well you do on a baked trout. At the end, I'll rate you just as a regular guest would. Don't worry, you'll have some help. I've asked a friend of mine to help guide you through the process. Thank you, green eyes. Oh my god, it's actually Chef Ramsay. I had no idea. Oh, oh my god, okay. All right, let's sit up here, okay? All right, we have Chef Ramsay here. We don't want to make it raw. Right, we need a trout. Let's find the refrigerator, shall we? Mm. Finally, some good effing food. Put the trout on the cutting board. Oh, there it is. Okay, I know. Oh, all right, there it is. Okay. No oh, knife. I think we need the knife. I'm gonna eat black pepper. Uh, oh, it's right here. So see, organized baby. Oh my god, we can put. You know, I really love pepper. Oh my god, look at it. You can see the recipe calls for five grams each. I put 24. Don't worry, Chef Ramsay. I don't need to follow recipes. You know, they they say that true chefs don't follow recipes. Would you shut up? I'm trying to make some trout for Chef Ramsay over here. All right, I seasoned. I, it is seasoned as it gets. All right, here's some dill. I'll get you some dill right there. There we go. There we go. See, look at that. It looks like it's moldy. This is what's left of my time. I put product down. Okay, see, oh, I just kind of roll it up in it. That'll that'll be good, right? <laughs> it's done! <laughs> Guys, have you ever done this? Have you ever got a hot dog, put it on a fork, and just put it over the stove? This is essentially the same thing. All right, again, the true chef doesn't follow ingredients. Oh my god, I dropped it on the floor. Don't worry, they won't know. All right, so we leave that bad boy on there for about 10 minutes. <clears throat> it it'll be golden crispy brown, okay? All right, okay, so up <laughs> I forgot that was in there. I was like, what was that noise? <laughs> All right, see, okay, this is the family recipe. The secret is to be able to, to throw your fish in there uh, at the certain amount of speed. Okay, well, you know, sometimes it takes two tries. Okay, perfect. Just like mama used to always do. All right, it's getting a little cold in here, so that's why I got all these on. If you forget some ingredients, uh, that's fine. You can just, if you forget some, just throw it in the oven, and it'll mix in real well. Oh my god, why is it getting so dirty? All right, now that we got that out of the oven, listen up, okay? I know you didn't say to put, like, horseradish, but that sounded good. All right, so now we gotta put it back in the oven. Again, if you drop your fish a few times, don't worry. Uh, if anything, you're actually helping immune systems, okay? Get a little germs on the... It's alive. Who forgot to kill the fish? If you drop it a few times, it's okay. You're helping people in the long run. And they will eventually thank you for it. All right, so let's wait a hot minute. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. While that bad boy's in the oven, what we gotta do now is uh, cut some lemons. So we gotta grab some lemons. Let's just sashay on down to the fruit rack. Now we gotta find our knife. Where's the knife? What is that? What is that? Oh, there's my knife. Exactly where I knew it was because I'm organized. Bam, let's cut that thing. Oh, wow. This is satisfying. A satisfying there, huh? Come on. Come on, you, come on, you piece of crap. It's like a challenge now. All right. That looks like it's cooking real nice in there. So what you do is squirt lemon in your eyeballs while you wait. <laughs> All right. I guess it's going to make me put it in there. Oven mitts are not required, okay? It's not that hot. It hasn't been in there that long. Okay. Well, my door fell off, okay? That's very unfortunate. I just replaced this darn thing. What am I paying these people for? All right. You know, okay. I don't have time. I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Put lemon right on this baby right there. <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> Did your oven break while you were you're cooking your fish? Don't worry. The repairman will come and fix it while it's cooking. So you don't even have to stop your trout from cooking. Chef Ramsay, I need you to stop. I need you to stop for a second. I understand what I need. I just started this restaurant. I'm having trouble. My TV's broken. You know, it's just a rough day. More deal. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> sour cream on fish? Disgusting. All right, I'm taking it serious this time, all right? Look at it. It's, it's looking beautiful. Ooh, that's looking good. All right, see, we saved time. Just double cut. It's fine. I worked really hard on this. Very, very hard, okay? 
All right, now we got to plate it. Oh, that costs money too? So can we just dump? Oh, we can just dump it. <laughs> Success! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, we got to gar garnish it. All right, garnish. I will, go I will do that. I can charge 500 bucks for that. Let's look at that. All right, now all we do is put that baby right there. Put it, put it. Put it down. Order up. Oh, I didn't season it with time. Oh, I thought I did. Can I just give it to the customer and they'll put it on themselves? Oh my God, I gotta find the pieces of fish that I've freaking lost. You guys want your food so perfect. Man, I hate this generation these days. Want everything so perfect. Have it their way. They want all of their fish that I cooked. God, so picky. I, I, I don't even know if what I just put on the plate was fish, but whatever. My God, back in my day, we ate glass and we were happy. We, when we got glass, we were happy to eat it. Chef Biju, I don't want green stuff all over my fish. God, so sick of it. <laughs> oh, they want more trout. You want more trout? There, that's enough tr trout for you. Look how much time I have on this. There's so much. Water up. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Look at all kinds of ingredients we got over here. All right. Oh, we got pumpkins. Oh my God. All right, where's my milk? Perfect milk. Exactly. Okay, I just want cereal. I need a bowl. I need another bowl. I'm gonna make some of those cereals you see on the boxes. You know, some of them's got bananas in it. Like the special K, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they get that potassium in there, you know? Very nice. What else do you see in those cereals commercials? Okay, what else? They got strawberries in there, right? Surely we got some strawberries. I specifically ordered strawberries. Ooh, cinnamon powder. I've actually, I do put that in my cereal. It's actually really good. It's healthier than sugar and it tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. Kids love cinnamon toast crunch. They see why there's so many cinnamon swirls in every bite, right? Is that how that goes? <laughs> All right, now where's the cereal? Where's where's the cereal? Where's the where's the where's the cereal? I need I need cereal. Where's the cereal? Oh, there's the strawberries. All right, since I know the parents are probably watching right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna substitute that that very harmful carb filled cereal with uh, something a little more healthy. We'll just use bread. Wait, that's not healthy. <laughs> See, back in my day, no one complained when you got bread in your cereal. All right. Because you didn't have any Cheerios, all right? We just got to cut it into such fine little tiny bits and pieces that it'll look like cereal. And then you can't complain. I don't want to see any complaining anymore. <laughs> My computer, like, is freaking farting right now. And finally, that nice boob juice that we all know and love. And notice that I did not put the milk in first, okay? Because only monsters do that. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, enough! Enough! Oh, you think we're done? We're not done making cereal. <laughs> like, this is how I make my cereal. And I don't want anyone to freaking judge me. All right, this is healthy cereal. All right, next comes the propane. Now, what the propane does, it makes sure, it makes sure you can taste the meat and not the heat. Yes, this is still cereal. Don't judge me. You can only only judge me when you see the final product, okay? Oh, I dropped my cereal. Let me put it back. All right, if your cereal starts to get a little bit of dry, uh, you just want to add some more milk. Mmm. Mmm. We want to leave this on about for 72 hours. So you want to make sure you do this the night before. Uh, that way you have yourself a nice, nutritious Biju breakfast. Okay, so it's been 72 hours. I mean, not really, okay? You think I wouldn't come prepared? So what you want to do with your cereal is grab your pan, and then we're going to deep fry it. Now, I know, contrary to popular belief, fried things may not seem healthy. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is a myth. That is, in fact, a myth. This is busted. Just gonna go ahead and dump our cereal into the fryer. Don't worry, you can fish those suckers right out of there. See, like so. And you know, you're gonna naturally lose some milk. Don't be discouraged if you lose a little bit of milk in the process. You're just gonna add some more milk. And then we're gonna finish it off with a dash of propane. Oh! I put a little too much propane. And that, my friends, is how you make a nice, nutritious, healthy bowl of cereal. Thanks for watching.